it's been an absolute pleasure taking part in critical discussions that are shaping the future of our region, um, listening to policymakers, honorable ministers, global officials, and getting the very unique opportunity of interacting with them firsthand, asking them questions, and also giving our own input uh, to these very critical themes and topics. Thank you, Your Excellencies, for sharing your vision to approach conflict. My question relates to the role of youth. How is your government investing in youth and their energies to become agents of change in the near future? Uh, we also had a maritime security panel where we actually got to ask the commander of the fleet direct questions um, and the um, Sheikh Mubarak Ali Sabah, who is the uh, Kuwaiti counterpart for the Combined Maritime Forces. Um, we got to ask them questions as well. Um, they were very honest in their responses. Um, I actually asked two questions because I kind of grilled them on nuclear issues in, in, in the sea, in the Gulf Sea, and uh, they were so candid with their responses. Given that the Middle East security order is defined in terms of conflict and distrust among others, in your opinion, what would be required to embed a stable and, as you call it, an inclusive regional security framework? The networking space and opportunity that you have here is really tremendous and valuable for someone who's, you know, just beginning or you know, mid his his professional or her professional career. Um, so, in particular, you know, taking part in this really has been um, extremely rich again and extremely uh, beneficial in terms of you know expanding your network and and getting direct answers from, from decision makers and policy makers. Uh, China has increased its economic footprint uh, tremendously in the region over the past decade. Uh, and although it is not willing to replace the US security role uh, in the region, it is de facto impacting the strategic landscape. So do you think uh, Middle Eastern countries should engage more with China on the, on the security front? How? And uh, what would this mean for the security relationship with the US? Thank you. Um, we're able to you know, ask questions that are harder to ask, you know, maybe um, we're able to think of things that are very, very relevant to our generation or to the times um, and bring those issues and highlight those issues to the forefront. Young people, they should not be taken as token youth. They should be fully engaged and the IISS Munamai Dialogue does exactly that. We involve youth as equal parts of the event. They equally speak they equally give input and they're equally hurt, whether by the organizers, by the global officials, by the honorable ministers. Um, so COVID-19 has also revealed that digitalization, um, accelerated digitalization, but it also revealed gaps in digital governance. Um, so in your view, what role should South Korea play as one of the global technology power in shaping the multilateral rules making on digital cooperation and data security? Thank you very much. I think that's an, an elegant and subtle way to refer to the, the 5G debate that has also become a, a geopolitical uh, issue. At the end of the day, young people are engaged today, uh, more so in the, in the Arab world, uh, in, in our region. So the question remains, how can we make sure that their engagement is constructive? Um, and you know, platforms such as this one do provide the space, do provide a constructive way of actually uh, having a conversation, a relevant conversation about contemporary issues and about you know, issues that are relevant to young people today. My question is, how in concrete terms and steps do you build resilience as opposed to always focusing and identifying the challenges and the vulnerabilities that, 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 that are faced in the region. Thank you. For Prince Faisal bin Farhan to speak at the opening plenary today, right after um, you know, he tweeted last night about um, developments regarding the Gulf crisis, and for us to go to bed knowing that the next morning we're going to be able to listen to him in real time in front of us talk about this issue um, is, you know, a very big takeaway for me. The, the COVID pandemic was a test really for all of us and you know global security and global cooperation will long be I think defined and, and, and understood and shared by, by our ability to act together. To understand the underlying logic behind certain decisions whether past, current or future was the most insightful part of this uh, edition of the Manama Dialogue.